Okay, what is happening, Cucumber Squad, and welcome back to the Fables Fear Forest Teller, man. The next one on the list is called Save Our Lives. Like I told you, we're doing absolutely all of them. Uh, this is the one that's come next, and apparently it's a music video as well, so that's going to be interesting. I do have the copyright uh, bars on the video. I apologize. You still will be able to see the video, um, but I have to do that just in case um, it gets blocked, because usually the videos do cause a bit of a problem, so bear with me. Forest Teller, save our lives, man. Let's see what we've got, and um, we're doing them all. I've told you, we're going, we're, we're doing the entire discovery, so let's go. Okay, in the beginning there was lights. Spr our song spread through the universe and stars fly, save our lives. Wow. I'm here and the world is in shadows. No matter how much we hold. Wow. Jeez, this video is insane though. I love the fact that they're so dramatic with what they do. I just love that. Everything is just so theatrical and out there. I just, But I, I, this video is just next level. This must be obviously an original song. This this can't be a, a cover of some sort. You can see this is an original song. Lee cries, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. These guys are epic, man. These guys are epic. This is such a beautiful song, man. And again, with their vocal layering, I'm not going to say it again. You know how I feel about their vocal layering. I think they're just absolutely on point. But this video is just giving me goosebumps. This video and obviously their vocals, they always give me goosebumps. But good lord. <laughs> I love how they've played with the elements over here and they've played that as a positive spin essentially so wind fire earth um and and rain water right i like that they've paid a, a play, paid those uh that they've played with those elements excuse me because all of those elements on earth is it's 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 the basis of the planet essentially so it's there's power in every single one of them there's heat there's light there's uh, uh um there's wind power and all that kind of thing so humanity being interconnected like interconnected with those elements is like a major thing and they're playing into like the light and the positivity and save us here on earth because there's more to us 
right there's so much that we can offer this uh, 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 this planet i think it's uh, it's really really well what they do what they've done here and i like that they've played with the, the in the video they've played with the whites and the positivity and the light and the upliftment i like that's very cool <laughs> I'm actually just mesmerized by this video and by their voices. I think it's absolutely beautiful, this piece. I like the way they're playing with this, specifically with the different acts, right? With the way they've started in the beginning, um, where they talk about the actual earth itself. So they talk about the elements of the earth. And then they go into like a second act where it almost seems like um, the destruction where you see the statues and the pillars and all of that uh, burning. So it's like the destruction of empires through corruption and things like that, because that's how we see it with it. Say, you know, save us here on earth, save us here from uh, greed, save us here from powers. It's almost, it's almost biblical to a certain sense. Um, and they go from that act to like a universal act where he's walking on the path in the universe saying like, you know, we're just a speck of life in a much, 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 much bigger picture, right? We, we, we almost insignificant we're a blimp on the on, on in the universal canvas essentially so the way they're playing with the act is they're playing with you know the beauty of nature and then the 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 despair and the uh, um corruption of humanity and how they like to idolize themselves through statues and pillars and build their empires and things like that through corruption that eventually will dissolve and will erode and will collapse right um, because that is what happens and we need to move into a space of light and move into a space of saving humanity through the power of love is kind of how they're playing with these acts. I think it's beautiful. I think it's amazing. Let me know if uh, you're getting the same interpretation, but that's that's how, what I'm getting so far. <laughs> This is a great representation over here. If you actually look, look at this over here. Before they were standing amongst these big pillars, right? These big imperial type pillars with all of these statues and things like that. And now all of these pillars are smaller where they're kind of saying that, you know, if we if we see people, if we see humanity as greater than possessions, right? We will always be above imperial uh, um, gains. We'll be above um, um corruption and money and things like that so the pillars are actually smaller and they're trying to depict as humanity and people right being above the monetary being above power 
Power is the people. We are the pillars that hold this world up. These pillars of empires and these pillars of corruption and these pillars of of money and uh, um, uh, gain and conquering, it's never going to be greater than the pillars, right? We stand above that. We stand taller than the pillars of of uh, um, powerful men. I think that's very cool. <laughs> Incredible stuff, this. I absolutely love that they're saying save our lives on Earth and not save the Earth. I cannot stand that we need to save the planet. I think it's such an, I think it's such an arrogant, narcissistic thing to say. Oh, we need to save the planet. Listen here, the planet is just fine. The planet has been here long before us, and it will be here long after we are gone. Right? The planet will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. So I love the fact that they say save our lives on the planet. If we don't do something, right, to reverse course or to alleviate all of the shit that's happening on the earth at the moment, the, the, the planet will be fine, all right? The planet will be fine. We'll die. Humanity and a lot of ecosystems will cease to exist, but the planet will, it's, it's, it's a self-correcting system. It'll self-correct and it'll get this atmosphere, will... Uh, um, will repair itself and nature will take its course and everything will self-correct, right? We'll be done, right? So I like the fact that it save our lives on earth, right? I hate the idea of like, oh no, we're like, that we are so much bigger than the earth that we can actually save the earth. We can't, right? What we need to do is save our own lives on this planet. This idea of saving the planet, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. We need to do this. We need to do what we need to do for our own sake. Because if we carry on down this road, the planet's just going to naturally take its course and be like, okay, well, I guess this uh, this species needs to eradicate themselves. Bye-bye. And it will continue for billions of years without us. You know what I mean? So, yes, I like the fact that they say, save our lives on Earth. Uh I like this song though. Very cool. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Whoa, 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 whoa. But of the tree of the good, uh, knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. Okay, so we're going back into the um, Adam and Eve. Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat from it, for in the day that thou uh, eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Listen, let's be real. If a naked lady is going to hand any man an apple, he's going to take it and eat it. Unfortunately, we flawed that way, right? If a naked lady is going to come and offer me an apple, I'm like, you know what? You went through this trouble. I'll eat the apple. <laughs> I mean, let's go. <laughs> Very cool. I like the fact that they played back into that where they go into the whole, they go into the biblical stories, so they go all the way back where they're like, okay, let's do this all again. Take the apple and would you take it and would you take a bite from it, right? So knowing what we know now, would we, would we go, would we actually go down the path of repeating those sins again that's basically what they're saying going back to the beginning and it's like would you take the bite of the apple and it's they're almost tying in as that that bite of the apple was the very element that 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 paved the course for humanity paved the course for uh man and woman on this earth i think that's a very clever way of uh, putting it but i must be honest human nature is human nature i that's why there's a saying that says history 
always repeats itself because we never learn from our mistakes. So I do believe that we'll probably do that again. Unless, unless uh, there's a species of humanity that um, comes about that changes the very essence and the very core of our natures. But that is who we are. That is who we've always been. We've been able to adapt. We've been able to learn. We've been able to uh, create laws that keeps us in check. But at the end of the day, if you revoke all of those things, we will go back to our primal selves and make those mistakes again. That is why knowledge is important. That is why uh, teachings are important. That is why history is important so that we learn from that. Anyway, I love you all. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.